Me and another lady were sitting there talking and we heard two gunshots and of course I moved over to get in the corner and right then the car came through. Today, that woman got the scare of her life when that vehicle came crashing through the wall of her office. Well, she was nearly run over. The police say just before the crash, two drivers were chasing each other, one of them even firing shots. News 2's Joseph Pleasant returned to the scene of the crash where a woman who had been working inside shared her story. You'll see it only here on Nashville's News 2. The plywood this bulldozer is holding up at Precision Plumbing is closing a hole created by one of those speeding cars. Me and another lady were sitting there talking and we heard two gunshots and of course I moved over to get in the corner and right then the car came through and crashed into my desk. Danielle Krantz's office is where this black charger crashed. I'm five feet from the window and my back is turned to it all day. Krantz and her fiance returned to the scene right after she left the hospital. It hit around my waist and my hip and then on my arm and my wrist, but I had no broken bones and I'm good. Metro police say the crash at the corner of Old Hickory Boulevard and Whites Creek Pike started as a high speed car chase. Witnesses saw a Dodge Charger and a Pontiac speeding down Old Hickory Boulevard side by side. At one point, police say the driver of the Charger opened fire. The car slammed into precision plumbing. Police say both men ran away and the driver of the Charger, Charles Cartmel V, hit more than a pound of marijuana in a nearby coal it was recovered along with two guns. Devon Hicks, the other driver, was questioned and released. Krantz is thankful she heard the gunshots and got out of the way. I would probably be dead or hurt really bad. Her fiance is glad as well. This is a big week for the couple. I'm five weeks pregnant and I have a wedding on Sunday. Precision Plumbing plans to be open bright and early on Thursday morning. We talked to Councilman Walter Hunt who represents this area. He says crime like this is highly unusual for White's Creek. In White's Creek, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. And the other woman in the office with Krantz also suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Charles Cardmel V faces felony drug charges. He does have a previous drug conviction, according to Metro Police.